guy? Because you ask questions. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Why well, you gotta keep asking questions? You know I'm gonna lie. You already know I'm a liar. You already called me a liar. Now who's more crazy, me or you? You said I'm a liar and you keep asking me questions. And you said you lied again, because I'm a liar. That's what I do, I'm consistent. <laughs> you don't want me to tell the truth. You don't want me to tell the truth. Have I gained weight since I met you? <laughs> Only people that gain weight ask that question. Don't no skinny people ask you that. Now I gotta sit there and go like, no, I mean, not really. I mean, when you look at in the world view, <laughs> am I wrong? I'll stop right now. I swear to God, I'll stop right now. Huh? You ask questions, you ask crazy questions. Do you love me as much as when I was younger and we first met and I liked you? <laughs> what else, ladies? These men are here, they need to learn something before they go back home. Where are my single men at? Single young men, single brothers. I'm gonna tell you something, enjoy these moments in your life. <laughs> Being here in the sand with a gun is better than being married at home with a woman that hates you. <laughs> That's why you think people like him keep coming back with the hat. <laughs> He's got a wife at home somewhere. He said, baby, I'm crazy, look at my hat. He tried. She's like, you ain't fooling me, liar. Take the hat off, come home. Oh, man. My single men, let me ask you, no, first, don't no, ask ladies, right? What's your name? Melissa. Melissa. What is it you think men want? What is it you think we want? I'm gonna help you, this ain't gonna be what you think it is. What do you think we want? Sex. Sex, no. <laughs> men are used to not having sex. Look at these dudes. <laughs> We can go forever without sex. We need to eat. Make a sandwich. Oh, Make wow. a sandwich. Uh, we gonna have oh, sex no. after I eat this sandwich. Because oh, no. now I'm turned oh, no. on, girl. You put man things up with it. Look at you with your nasty self. Oh, man. You thought we wanted sex. <laughs> after five years of marriage, ain't nobody having sex. Wow. Sex is angry after five years. You want to do something? Well, forget it now. No, get it over it. It's almost nine. <laughs> you want sex, you want to take the trash out. Now I got to work for sex. I'm working for sex. <laughs> you want some sex? Cut the grass. You know what? Let the grass grow long. I won't I want sex no more. I want HBO. <laughs> See, y'all spend all that money, y'all go like the Victoria's Secret, buying little underwear and little tiny thongs, like that's what we want. We don't turn nothing down. You can have some panties, big old white panties that go over your head. You think I'm lying? They ain't been a man here like this. Now it's gonna hit that, but she has some big white panties. So I have to let that go. We don't turn nothing down. You got a safety pin? Girl, look at you. And I'm gonna help y'all with something else. All y'all reading that book and go see the movie, Fifty Shades of Grey, Fifty Shades of Grey. That's a fool that has some duct tape and a rope. Are you crazy? <laughs> know why you like the movie? Because he was rich. He was rich. He was tying you up and he was rich. He flew you in his airplane and then he tied you up. I bet if a homeless man woke up, I got that tape. <laughs> Oh, I want some of that. Bring your shopping cart. Oh my. You know what the real 50 Shades of Grey is? You jogging down the street with your headphones on, a van come up, they snatch you in, they tape your face, and they throw you in the basement, and they put newspaper on the window. That's 50 Shades of Grey. It's called One Shade of Black in real life. That's all you get. And you hope somebody finds you. And the woman that wrote that book, did you ever see her? Did none of that happen to her? That's a make-believe book. In real life, if a man taped her up, he was leaving. <laughs> She's on the ground ready. <laughs> he was escaping. Wow. I see what your arms folded looking at me. I see your attitude right now. Am I wrong? I'll stop. Am I wrong? No. Okay, where am I wrong? And I'll stop. Say it. I'm listening. Huh? Am I wrong or did I just bring some truth out that hurts? Wow. Where am I, okay, where am I wrong at? Now stop. The whole thing. I was wrong about Fifty Shades of Grey with a rich man. Huh? You haven't read it? You, haven't, you never peeked at the book? Okay, let me ask you this question. 
A man got a billion dollars. He said, I'll give you $300 million if you let me tie you up. You be tied to a tree outside. <laughs> For $300 million, your husband will take you there. Won't you just let the man tie you up? You're so damn selfish. I'll tie you up. Here she is. But see, that doesn't work for men, because we're cheap. We'll do it for 